Hey geeks, before we get started, make sure to do your boy a favor, like, subscribe, leave some comments on the video, let me know what you want to see in the future, and make sure to check out our giveaways playlist because we got some great giveaways coming up. It's John Moxley. So it's John Moxley. All right, we're back with AEW Unrivaled John Moxley, the on and off again AEW World Champion. Now you may know him from WWE as he was part of the Shield. He has flown the coop and gone out on his own. All right, so as always, loving the gold and black boxes. Wish I didn't have to rip him out of there. But he's in there looking tough. He's got a scar over his eye. Uh, I wish this version had come with the uh, patch when he got the key in his eye. BC comes with the coveted AEW Championship belt, so that way when you're making your own wrestling matches at home, you can pass that belt around. Come around the back, you see you got the Series 2 Unrivaled Collection pictures at the bottom, and then you got a picture of John Moxley winning the belt up at the top with blood all over his face. Could have cleaned up for the photo shoot. Man, I'm glad I did this review today. I'm such a dingbat. I ordered this and it never occurred to me that he came with a belt. I was about to order a handmade belt off of Etsy for like $14. But I don't have to do that because Johnny brought it for me. The Mox Buttocks. There he's out of the box. Come and get some. So Jazzwares is doing a really good job with the legs on these figures. And I know it's a weird thing to specify, but the legs, they're solid. They're just the right amount of stiffness and they're very easy to stand. Um, my DC figures, Marvel Legends, a lot of them you just gotta fight with. You know, some come out the box really good, but some of them you just gotta fiddle with them until they stand. These AEW figures, usually first, second, third try, you got them and they're up. So that's the first thing I dig. And again, if you watch my review on Dustin Rhodes, the skin color on Series 2 is much better, and the facial scans are much better. And overall, I mean, these are just top-notch figures especially for such an early go in the life cycle of these products man uh, i'm couldn't be more impressed that looks like mox i love what jazzwares is doing with their clothing and ring attire um, very 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 particular with the details like this mox on the back it actually looks like it's spray painted or airbrushed on it's just real life accurate and that's what you want out of your figures. You see down on his pants, he's got that eight and that gold sergeant's badge there, or lieutenant, forgive me. But point being, they took the time to put that in there. It stands out. And sometimes you see, like on a Marvel Legends, they'll do that every once in a while, but most of the time you just get one blanket color, maybe with some accents, but they're usually not putting details like that throughout the figure's clothing. You may see the bottom of the pants, that the zippers on the pants and the buckles on the pocket on the thigh, they took the time to actually paint those. So man, kudos to Jazzwares. I talk trash about them not getting the figures out on time. Maybe they're taking so long because they're hand painting that stuff in a little cave somewhere in Alaska. Perfect example of his balance. I had him on that rotating stand and I took him off to move the rotating stand for this shot. And I just put him down when I even think about it and he stood right up. <laughs> that never happens with my McFarlane's or my uh, Marvel Legends. I love it. And I look back and I was like, whoa, he's standing up. That is cool. Anyway, let's see what that head do. And, ooh, that head is loose. That, that's no bueno. Holy crap, is it? Okay, well, it's locked on there pretty good, but I don't know if something's broken there or not, but I'm not going to be able to do any kind of positioning there looking up or looking down and I can't say I'd exchange it because these things are impossible to find anywhere man that sucks let me pop his head off and see what's going on so I popped his head off 
and it didn't come off very easily. So the ball, the barbell joint fits in there well. I guess they cut the inside of the hole too big and the entrance is the right size because once it's in there, you get that loosey goosey movement. Man, anybody in the comments that maybe customizes or has dealt with any of this before know what I could do to fix that. Sound off and let me know because you know I'm not into customizing and all that stuff, but I'm not trying to find this guy in the wild because he's just not out there. And I'm not going on eBay to pay for another one <laughs> over retail price. So help me out if you can. Tell me what to do with this. Ah, this bleh, pisses me off. All right, so obviously this vest comes off. See how easy it is to slide off. Man, the, uh, I remember Chris Jericho's jacket from series one. I'm never taking that thing off again. All right, slides off pretty easily. So I did get his head to stay up. <laughs> when you pull it all the way up, it clicks and stays, but there's no range in between. The minute you move that, it just falls right down. Eh, you can get it to go down. All right, so. I lied a little bit, but still loosey goosey. Still loosey goosey. All right, so arms do get above the shoulder. All right, no butterfly joints, so he can't really get his arms close enough to give you an HR friendly hug. Hopefully his back's not itching because he can't reach back there and scratch it. Full 360 at the shoulder joint. And you got a bicep swivel there. No forearm swivel, but he does have a nice little tattoo there. Good paying attention to detail. Like that, jazz wears like that. Both wrist joints have horizontal hinges, so you do get a repulsive blast. Hold my hand. Kiss the ring, biatch. Double jointed elbows, give you good range. You can see there he's wiping blood from his mouth. And he's scratching that itch on the back of his neck. Almost forgot, 360 at the wrist. Have that sweet abdominal pivot joint, or I'm assuming it is like the other AEW figures. Yep, nice and smooth. Straight up, doing some crunches. Uh, hold my beer. You've also got that waist rocker there for a little bit of added movement. Tilt forward a little bit, tilts back a little bit too. Can he can can? No, he can't can't. But he can kick a small porcupine. If that porcupine retaliates, he can clearly jump over it. Almost missed the thigh swivel. It's very well hidden there. Just the right amount of stiffness. Got on both legs. And these thigh joints are a little bit loose. I don't know if you saw that when I was holding it. See how his leg falls down? I'll just shake it a little bit. Other side, a little bit stiffer. Takes more shaking to go down. Me, my head won't stay still. Double jointed knee, but because the thigh joint doesn't go far straight forward, he doesn't really get a prance. You can see he's not really near to kicking his own butt even if you push it. Do have silver right there at the top of the boot, lower calf. He's not moonwalking anywhere. That toe does not point up very far at all. Doesn't point straight down either. Foot is a uh, pivot rocker. This left foot is very loose. Uh, yeah, right foot's not as loose. Not very stiff. It's nowhere near as loose as the left one. All right, here you can see the scaling is real. Dustin Rhodes kind of towers over him.
And there he is face to face with Le Champion. And face to face with the American Nightmare himself. Looking really tan compared to him though. Alright geeks, let me know what you think. Is Mox worth the bucks or are you going to pass on this one? I really appreciate you guys watching and supporting. Love it, love it, love it. Go ahead and do your boy a favor, click that like button, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications, and share this with somebody you think they'll like the content. Make sure to look out for the 1500 subscriber giveaway that's coming up. Giving away a Marvel Legends Age of Ultron Hulkbuster 2 pack, so you don't want to miss out on that. And keep tuning in for more AEW Unrivaled figure reviews. Till next time, geek out. Yeah!